the tough-talking Pentagon chief, James Mattis, in Beijing, his first time to visit China. Chinese President Xi Jinping told the U.S. Defense Secretary that China is committed to peaceful development and that it had no interest in expansionism or colonialism. However, he did reiterate Beijing's firm stance on sovereignty and territorial integrity and how it would protect every inch of its territory passed down from history. He and Mattis agreed on the importance of maintaining strong military relations. On Thursday morning, the U.S. Defense Secretary met Xu Chiliang, the Vice Chairman of China's Central Military Commission. Our presidents have reached very important consensus on promoting military ties. I hope the two militaries can continue to increase their mutual trust and cooperation in the future. Uh, this relationship is fundamental to both our nation's futures and to the future of the international community in terms of peace and prosperity in the region. The trip comes amid worrying tension between Washington and Beijing. Last month, two U.S. warships entered China's territorial waters off the Xisha Islands in the South China Sea. Beijing called it an illegal act, but the U.S. maintains China is militarizing the region. Before he departed, Mattis conceded he would be doing a lot of listening in Beijing. On Wednesday, he met with China's defense minister, Wei Fenghe, and senior diplomatic official, Yang Jiechi. During the talks, he said he hoped the two countries could move ahead and find ways for more robust military cooperation. Rory Cohn, CGTN.